everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom, our very own Jurassic World Park creator. Yeah, this is a new game. The demo just dropped today, and the full version comes out later on this year, which you guys could probably expect to see on the channel. But today, we're going to be having a play with the demo. If you guys do enjoy this video and would like to see some more of Prehistoric Kingdom on the channel, then make sure to let me know by punching the thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups, and I guess we should jump straight in and create our very first world. Let's do this thing. So here we are. It looks like there's a couple different game modes, or there's going to be at least. But for now, we can only play with the normal game. And uh, there's only one map that we can actually play on in this version. Our park name is currently Grand Island Park. But hey, 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 nah. We are the Jurassic World. This is the Jurassic World. And um, it looks like the different worlds have different natural resources. So we've got a moderate amount of trees. We've got a moderate amount of water. We've got a poor what looks like oil and we've got a rich amount of sunlight so so i guess that's what we got to do with our world let's jump straight in and, and begin building our jurassic world i'm excited and here we are this is our jurassic world guys it's a very very big island it's a massive island there's some trees around down here this is kind of like the flat little region looks like we've got a mountain region over here as well so that looks really cool could be nice to build a a park on like the edge of the canyon That'd be actually really cool to do. Um, and yeah, so we got water around. Now we're going to have to stick close to water because there's two resources in the current version of the game that are going to, that we're going to have to depend on. Water and electricity. Um, and to get electricity, what am I, tongue twisting around. To get electricity, we're going to need windmills, giant Oh, wind turbines. So uh, we'll set some of those up in a moment. But I, I want to get straight into dinosaurs. So we got a couple of things that we can start off with or a couple of things that we can actually do. We can alter terrain. This is something a lot of games generally leave out to late in games. You can actually play with terrain. I don't know if you can demolish it. It doesn't look like it. But I guess we can kind of just level it like this. There we go. And you can kind of adjust what sort of brush you want to use, what size of brush you want to use, the intensity of it, the rotation. So we can go and do stuff like this. Oh, I don't want to level it. I want it to raise it. There we go. There we go. And you can kind of build it up and build... Pfft, that's not what I had in mind at all. That's quite horrible, actually. <laughs> Oh god, what am I doing? I'm destroying everything. How about we just smooth it all out? Yeah, there we go. Smooth it all out. We've created some rather untasteful mountain bump looking thing. Anyways, let's maybe not have a play with that just now. Let's start with the simple stuff. Let's build ourselves a path. So I'm thinking maybe on the edge of this canyon here. Maybe right here would be a nice place to begin. We can go and build some pathways. Now, we can either build them out of dirt, stone, or wood. I like the idea of some stone pathways. So, I'm going to lead, I guess, straight down here. There we go. Or should it lead straight from the water? Or we can actually go underwater with it too. So it's like a boat pulls up and it's going to pull up at the dock and it's going to dock here and people are going to walk into our, our new Jurassic world. And then from here, it's going to split up and it demolished that tree for me. So, that's kind of handy, I guess. That's kind of handy. Now, I saw on the menu screen, uh, it had some pretty cool things like... It was, uh, it was, it was making like little kind of tree sections. They kind of had like a little pathway wrapping around like that. And then I think they had some fences like this. Yeah. And then they like had some trees in there. I don't know how to place trees just yet. Here we go. Nope. That's not it at all. No, no. Habitation. Aha. You actually do it through the terraforming thing. So we can what? Click a tree. <gasps> Random size value. Okay. Multiple foliage replacement we can shrink down the size and then click and get like a little bit of a forest going in here that's actually really cool i like that that's actually awesome okay can i get some i want i want a couple more trees here though let's crank that intensity up there we go now we're talking it's like a little foresty entrance well enough about trees we're not here to play with trees we're here to play with dinosaurs um and i think we're gonna go for a small little same sort of fence in fact no no no, we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to build up a nice thick pathway here. I kind of want, I don't know, this is like the main entrance to the to our Jurassic world. So we got to make sure it's its nice and big and nice looking. Um, and now we can go and build our little fence enclosure. So we're going to go with one big fence straight down here. Um, it's actually just a tiny little small fence. 
It's probably should go a little bit bigger if we're if we're gonna be having dinosaurs hiding inside of it. In fact, these ones right here, they're like those those window ones that you see at the zoo. So we're gonna get some of those. Or do we get these ones? Oh, that's just chain. No, I like these ones here better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and we're gonna go big with it. Oh, or do we? Huh. If this is the entrance. Maybe, oh maybe, we should just put it to the side. So, we're going to go straight down here, straight up the top, straight over this way. In fact, we can go diagonals too. Alright, maybe we'll just do some diagonal work as well. We'll bring it, I can't, you know what, let's get a bird's eye view. Let's go for something interesting here, eh? Let's go for something interesting. So, we're going to go from here to here, straight up here, um, to about there, straight across here. We're going to go three across back down and there we go we've gone and locked in our very first dinosaur enclosure and i'm, I'm gonna have to go and delete Ugh. no 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 i don't want to delete all of that i just want I just want this first little bit okay maybe we'll just maybe we'll just destroy the whole thing then and rebuild that and we can also go and place a little gate uh, I'm not sure that's the gate I was looking for, to be honest, but... Okay, well, it looks like that's the type of gate it wants me to have, which is a little bit odd considering we're going to have dinosaurs inside of this. And that gate could barely hold a dog inside of this pen, but let's go! Let's get this thing going. I, I don't know how this works, but I think it all begins with this item right here. And this here is a, a, a shelter of some sort. Uh, and we can go place it dead center straight in the middle here and it's actually going to build it up in front of us it doesn't just appear it actually gets built now from what i have uh, well, from what i understand yes it's going to require electricity to run this but this is where all of our dinosaurs are going to come from so we need to go ahead and place down some of these these are going to generate electricity for our park and we're going to go and place them along the mountain range over here because I don't really know why. It seems like a smart thing to do, and they're kind of out of the way. They're not going to be a big old eyesore. Next up, we're going to need water. So I guess we should put some water plants down here, I'm guessing. Is that how this works? Do we need to go and place these by the by the oceans? Um, how do I rotate it? Aha, there we go. All right, there we go. And I don't know if we need more than one of those, but for now, we'll just use one. Uh, electric production this month, zero kilowatts. Water production, zero. Okay. <laughs> well, we, we're going to have to produce some, I suppose, at some point. Let's go check this thing out, though, and see if... I don't know. See if it's see if it's ready to create some dinosaurs. Here we go. So, we can adjust what we're creating by size. We can make little babies, and we can make big old... Okay, that's a gal galimimus. All right, so it looks like we can change the main clad, which is just Archosauria, the subclad, which is, aha, we got two to choose from, and then the genus. We got a Gallimimus, a Tyrannosaurus, and a Velociraptor. They're all feathery creatures. Hmm. Oh, oh hold on. It looks like we can change from feathered to scaly. Can we do that with the, uh, oh, here we go. We can get scaly or like reptilian scale scaly sorry reptilian scaly skins or feathered skins i don't know which one like the historically accurate one is do t-rexes have feathers or do they have scales i know every cut everything kind of shows them having scales but which one's the accurate one let me know down below if you know in the comments because i have no idea how about the okay and the gallimus hmm in arc it's just scales that's interesting. What about in the Marginocephalia? Triceratops. And that's the only one we can get. But we can actually change the color of their skin as well. Evergreen, copperback, or crimson frill. I kind of like that one. Oh, we can rotate him as well. What does he look like as a little baby? Oh, it's a little baby. <laughs> okay. What do we do? Just click breed. And then it, it happens. And then I can click it. <gasps> and then we can place him in our world. Oh, look at the little baby T-Rex. Oh, T-Rex. Track! Look at the little baby Triceratops! <laughs> Your little goofball. He's probably hungry. He probably wants some food, so we better go and place some feeding down. So what do we have here? There's a couple items, but I have no idea what they do. This one here is a small wooden feeder. Small, small herbivore feeders are recommended for small, medium-sized herbivores. Well, I'm pretty sure a track. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what a track, a little baby track, would definitely need. So, let's go and... I guess we'll place it over here somewhere. We'll go place it over here. There we go. 
I don't know if our little trikey friend's gonna want to eat from it, but hey, it's there if he needs it, so it's up to him what he wants to do with it. What else can we play with? We've also got this one here, which is a large wooden feeder. It's a large herbivore feeder. I recommend it for medium large size herbivores. Well, if we're gonna be getting some large adult T-Rexes, we're definitely gonna need some of these. So we'll go and throw this down directly opposite the other one. Um, and I'm guessing the other two are for carnivores. A meat container, simple yet effective. This meat container will feed flesh and bones to the hungriest of your carnivores. And we also have a large water. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need water trough as well. Of course we are. Um, and I guess we'll put them next to our feeders. Because why not? And is that it? They're stuck. We can't make them any bigger. They're just one size. Well, our lone little, our lone little trike here needs some family. He needs some friends. Maybe we can get him like a, a teenager triceratops. Let's, let's get him one of those. In fact, let's give it another skin. Let's give it the evergreen skin because that just looks awesome. And then we'll get some big old parents ones. We'll get a male one. Um, and this one's going to have a copperback skin. And then we'll get a mummy. Oh, wow. They're actually different sizes and different skins as well. Uh-huh. I didn't know they looked any different, but interesting. We'll get an evergreen one of those. And we can actually, we can actually name them. So, Daddy <laughs> and Mummy. There we go. And I guess we'll go and uh, put them into our world and they can look after the little baby Triceratops. <gasps> Let's get the other one as well. Daddy and Mummy got to look after their little baby. And then we need the uh, the little troublemaker teenager baby too. There we go. So we're slowly getting a bunch of a bunch of bunch of tracks going through our little a little pen here. I guess this is gonna be the herbivore pen. I guess this is I guess that's what this is. It's the herbivore pen. So we're gonna have all of our little herbivore creatures in this one here. Um, it doesn't look like we need to stock anything else up, so that's good. Is there anything else I'm gonna need here though? The shelters. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, we can rotate this. I don't really know what it is. Oh, it's a little little house. Oh, it's going to be a little little house for the baby. Okay. Well, let me rotate this like that. It's like a little tree stump. And I guess our little baby track can go and chill in there. We can also get a big old, like, K. Oh, oh, this one actually gets built up. That's kind of cool. Let's check it out. We don't need anything to, like, run it, do we? Nope. It's just, like, somewhere that they can, I guess, live. I suppose. That's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. We'll go throw another one over there as well. And maybe one over here too. Just in case we got a couple of little dinosaur families. Um, and then what is this? This is massive. Yo. Um, okay. Should we get one of these? It's huge. Except I don't really have any more space for it. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I'll go and demolish our tree stump here. And instead of that... We'll put down this behemoth, if I've got room for it. Which at this stage, it doesn't look like I'm gonna. Why not? Why I don't have any room? Oh, I need like... Maybe because there's dinosaurs under it? I really want to keep trying. I want to get this thing down. We just got to find the right place to do it. Right here. Perfect. Okay, let's rotate that. And place it right there. Oh, look at the size of it. It's bigger than the breeder. In fact, I don't even know if this thing needed to be inside of the pen. I don't think it did. Like, really, that could just be anywhere, because then we just place the dinosaurs down where they got to go anyway. But look at that. We have a big old house for them to live in. And it looks like our teenager track is going straight inside to, to check out his new home. Can I place... Let me see if I can place food in there. Aha, uh -huh, we can. Oh, that's what you're meant to do. We can actually place the water in here. And I guess we can place the food in here as well, right? I guess that's the whole point. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll throw one of these right down there, down the back. There we are. And we'll go throw a little baby one as well. It keeps zooming me out. There we go. Okay. Well, that's much better. If I knew that's how it worked, I would have built the thing over here. We also don't have water. Does that mean I need a new... Haha! -ha. We might need a new water thing in my bubby. Let's try this out. A little Another water pump. Now, obviously, in the real game, you have to pay for all of these items. 
there's no money. We've got unlimited cash, so it doesn't really uh, doesn't really matter how much stuff we uh, create and spawn in. We can just do whatever we want. So we've created we've created a basic pen. It's got the basics inside of it, but I want to make it a little more unique, and we can do that through the use of things like rocks, and and I think just rocks at this stage, to be honest. Here we go. Here we go. And the cool thing about rocks is we can actually make them enormous. We can make, like, rock canyons out of them. Check. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought we can... We can definitely make these things bigger. Okay, guys, you might notice things look a little bit different in our park, and that's because, well... Our footage from my recording got a little bit weird, and I noticed in editing that it kind of just froze when I was resizing these rocks, but this was the final product. This is what we ended up with. I went and basically expanded these rocks, grew them really, really big, and, and came up with this big rock wall all the way around the outside of the, the enclosure here. We got some big trees circling the outside as well, and then some tiny little bushes through the middle. We ended up getting a whole... A whole lot of Triceratops is in here too, so this is our first little exhibit. It's nice and well populated. We ended up with 12 different trikes in here, all with different colors, different different, <laughs> different sizes, different genders, um, all looking really, really cool. Um, and yeah, I really like our very first enclosure. And I kind of had a little bit of a play out here as well. I uh, was having a real little think of what we can do with these little, uh, with the entryway here. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to have an extra little play with it. In fact, I could have sworn I deleted this. Let's go and demolish. I guess it does not want to be demolished right now. We can touch that up another time, but I was thinking we could do something really, really cool here. Let's go and get a couple more of these rocks. I want to get something like this. <laughs> Not quite as big, though. Let's go much smaller. Now, uh, actually, I want to rotate it. So, let's rotate it straight up vertically. Let's twist it this way a little bit. There we go. Something like that. And shrink it right down like this. Something like this. Yeah, yeah, something a bit like that. And then what we can do with this is go and make like a little entryway with it. Um, it's not quite what I had in mind, but we could get like, I don't know, something like this going. And it's like a little separate gateway type of thing. So can I get another one of these? Yes, we can. And it's going to look exactly the same, I think. Close enough. And then we can get another one. If I can click it properly. Uh, and this one here. Then we can go and kind of stack them up a little bit. And get this nice little like rock cave entrance type looking thing. We can, we can, you know what? We can just go like this. We can just go like this. It's like a little caveman entrance. Uh, not quite. There we go. That's a bit too much, I think. No! What did I do? <laughs> um, Move it across. Yeah, not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> oh, it's very bad, actually. What was I thinking? Maybe we just raise that. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah. Hold on. I want to move this top one. No, not you. I wasn't clicking you. I wanted to go and raise this this last rock right here. There we go. Expand it sideways a little bit. There. Now we got like a new little custom rock entrance into our, our Triceratops enclosure. But I am really excited to keep playing with this game. I think in the next video, we're going to go and build ourselves a T-Rex enclosure. Except I want to get a little bit trickier with it. And instead of doing an above ground one, I want to build one inside of the ground. Kind of like what you see at the zoo sometimes with different enclosures like that. But um, yeah, keep an eye out for that one there. But there's one other thing just over here that's appeared that I haven't shown you guys yet. This here is our mode of transportation. It's our very own, like, Jurassic Park, like, Jeep cars. And we can actually drive these around if we want. We can cruise around our Jurassic World inside of these, which is cool because, well, we all know what happened to these things in Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. They all kind of get destroyed. Yeah, T-Rexes and stuff kind of, uh... Yeah, they didn't, they, they didn't quite like the Jeeps driving around through their, through their world and their terrain. But yeah, we can cruise around with one of these. And it's got a horn. We can go and honk away with our horn. Um, and I think we can use lights as well in case it gets dark or in case we want to build some caves and stuff. But I thought this was really cool because if you build some like 
really big parks. You can drive around it and really explore and, I don't know, have a little, a really good search of what's going on around the park and how it all looks and how it's going to look for visitors once they rock up. But just to top it off, let's go. I reckon we should get some more tri uh, Triceratopses. Let's go and do exactly that. So let's get some, uh, let's get some variants. Let's get some, uh, let's get two of these fellas here. Oh, we can't get feathered ones. That's right. We'll get two evergreen colored ones. Then we're going to go and switch it up a little bit and get some crimson ones. Let's get some females. In fact, they look a little bit different to the males, don't they? They don't look as good. Copperbacks. Let's stick to these. Male. Female, that looks so different. And let's get like a little tiny little baby ones. Let's throw one of them in there. So that's three. I reckon we should, we should max out for a total of 20 of these little guys. So let's go and get five more of them. Maybe some evergreen ones, some male evergreen. Should we get some, some tiny little baby ones? Let's get three of these ones. So three of those. And then with two more, we'll max out at 20 of these. And I just realized this little icon at the bottom of the screen here it says there's no people in my park. So maybe... We can actually get people in our park at some stage, but not yet, unfortunately. Um, and just stop it off. Let's get two uh, uh, crimson frill ones. Yeah, look like that. Let's get two of these little fellas just to top it off to 20. And then what we can actually do, we can go and click select all, place selected, and drop them all the way around our little enclosure. So we now have 20 tracks cruising around here. I think the visitors are going to love this, as long as they stay in here, of course. But you know what? It's actually a little bit overpopulated. Let's go quickly throw. Um, let's throw. Let's throw. What am I looking for? Some feeding. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna need more water, yo. They're going to need more water. So let's go throw some more feeding troughs down here. One more over here next to that one. And probably going to need some, some feeding. In fact, let's put some water out here. Oh, actually, I've got a great idea. Can we? Can we build water yet? Or maybe we can't just yet. Oh, maybe we can't do that just yet. Oh, man. It looks like in future updates, we can paint the floor and we can get water. But I don't know if we can actually dig water holes just yet. At least I don't think so. It doesn't appear... Whoa! That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go and drop all of that back down. Yeah, we're not going to play too much more with this. But guys, we are going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Prehistoric Kingdom. If you guys did enjoy the video, then make sure to go ahead and punch the thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Bye for now. Yeah.